First of all, let me say that uh, the honor is mine to be introduced to this event by Valia, a member of a generation of Greeks that many in our country treated them as if they were doomed. Doomed to live worse than their parents, forced to leave their country while abandoning the hope that this country will someday be able to be built again in steady foundations, uh, this time in steady foundations. So I'm happy and proud to be able to say to Valia and uh, to all members of her generation that things are changing. And now Valia and her generation are not more doomed. You are, this generation are the most precious asset of our country and our country generally is now back on its feet. It's back on its feet after years of austerity, recession, and uh, the cruelest of it all, collective despair. But now the time has come to trust the future, to trust the future of our country to those who dare to imagine it. And uh, I, will, I, I want to assure Valia and uh, everybody of her generation that uh, as a Prime Minister of Greece, I will do whatever it takes to ensure that this generation will not end up as the lost generation, but uh, as the pioneers of a new era for Greece. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me start my speech here in Concordia, in this uh, very friendly to me environment. It is the second time that I'm giving this speech here. By saying that uh, nobody would uh, disagree that uh, the challenges that we have to face are more than serious. In Greece, Europe and across the globe, the end of the era of economic crisis that had lasted over a decade now is the good news. But uh, that doesn't mean that we now have a stable ground to build a safe and prosperous future. Because some prefer for the ground to be eternally shaky. And I'm talking, first of all, for those who are eager to turn the clock back to the 1930s by pointing the finger at the poor, the unemployed, and the vulnerable ones. Those who pretentiously condemn terror and religious fundamentalism, but they are the first to deny shelter to those who are escaping from them. Those are the same who are building a colossal mechanism of fake news and propaganda in order to create a distorted image of reality, to deceive people and make them feel insecure and afraid. But apart of those demagogues, we cannot ignore the voices of the elites, the voices that came 
from a stubborn status quo who deny responsibility for the wrongdoings of the past decades, who argues that the only ones that are to be blamed are the people and their choices. So we cannot ignore them, those who are forcing us back. But we will not bend the knee to them. My government and I are determined to work along with our friends and allies to face the challenges that lie ahead. We speak on behalf of those who are committed in the search of common solutions to our collective problems. Those who struggle rather than quit. Those who aim to unite, not trigger new divisions among peoples and nations. And I believe that uh, at the end of the day, Greece is on the right side of history. Back in Greece, we have made a huge effort to seek collective and most effective answers to very crucial questions. We are the first to argue that, that Europe should rise to the occasion and begin to discuss on a new framework that rights and obligations are clear but also realistic and fair. There weren't many who shared that view. But now this discussion is on the top of the European agenda. We are the first among others, I might say, to support the unpopular view that the refugee, the refugee crisis is not a problem for two or three countries that uh, carry the heaviest burden of these flows. But it is a European problem that needs common European strategy to face it. We addressed this issue in the base of humanism and respect to those people in need. We joined forces with other countries to create a common ground in order to find the best solutions. We didn't let those in denial to prevent us from the need to face the situation. We took significant initiatives to make Balkans a stable, safe and prosperous part of Europe. We show that there is a window of opportunity for a breakthrough on a matter that has been a thorn on Greece's and Europe's side for almost three decades. Our dispute with the former, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia is coming to an end. With respect to our history, with respect to our peoples, because Greece is not petty. Greece is the leading force in Balkans. And its historic role is to take action in order to lead the whole region to an era of cooperation, stability and growth. That is our vision. That is how I see my country in the years to come. A country that takes advantage of its strategic geopolitical role and the pioneer of cooperation and partnership in the Balkans and the Mediterranean. In that context, 
we really value our strategic partnership with the United States. The 83rd Thessaloniki International Fair was a landmark, was a landmark to our relations, with the United States being the honored country and giving their vote of confidence to the Greek economy, and especially in the fields that are extremely valuable geopolitically. Greece is the fastest growing source of investment from the United States, reaching $1.8 billion. And the critical energy partner on the United States and the champion of European energy security, promoting deeper energy security through diversification of routes, sources, and supplies of energy. That is why the economy of Greece should be further supported with profitable new investment. Because a stronger economy can further enhance Greece's geostrategic role. That would be to the ultimate benefit of all parties who share interests in the wider region of Southeast Europe and uh, Eastern Mediterranean. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me say once again that uh, my country has already turned the page. The bad days are over. But, of course, the challenges remain in this ever-changing world. But uh, now I can say to you that I'm confident that uh, a brighter future lies ahead for my country. And I'm confident that Greece will be the one that deserves to the Greeks, deserves to our history and our tradition. So thank you very much. <laughs>